most Volkswagen Passat owners are middle-aged and older people who are not too constrained in their means. They are very careful, if not reverent, regarding personal transport and, as a rule, are not inclined to save on maintenance. Therefore, picking up a three-year-old copy, the body of which will be in perfect condition, is not difficult. Moreover, regardless of the place of birth, the cars are painted very high quality and are exceptionally resistant to the seasonal attack from road chemistry. Only chrome parts suffer from salt, the radiator grill and side moldings fade. An unfavorable external environment is capable of finishing off the rear parking sensors in two or three years, which the officials are by no means cheap, at least 3,893 rubles. A piece. In addition, you will have to pay 700 or 2,000 rubles for installation, it depends on where the sensor is located, on the edge of the bumper or in the middle. Of the breakdowns, in no way related to external influences, one can note rare failures of the rotary mechanism of adaptive xenon headlights. Alas, it is far from always possible to repair the ingenious luminary, and then, reluctantly, you have to change the entire headlight, and this is about 20,000 rubles for the original. In addition, in cars that were driven infrequently and, more importantly, for short distances, battery failure is quite possible, in such a sprint mode, the battery does not have time to recover. Of the malfunctions of the interior equipment, mechanics note only the whims of the radio tape recorders. But this is not a big problem, in most cases, an elementary fuse replacement helps to revive the music. Transmission the easiest and most reliable way to protect yourself from possible problems with the gearbox is to choose a car with a simple and time-tested 5-speed mechanics. It was installed on sedans and station wagons with a 102-horsepower gasoline engine and a 105-horsepower diesel engine. With. There are plenty of such instances on the secondary market, but not everyone will be satisfied with the mediocre dynamics of such a machine. The weak link of the six-speed manual gearbox of more powerful versions is the not very reliable dual bearing, while driving, the crippled box starts to howl. We must pay tribute to the Germans, having gained enough negative statistics, they tried to rectify the situation. The ill-fated bearing had several modifications, but the most successful one appeared in 2009. However, it may turn out that the previous owner cured the box during the warranty period with the help of a new part. Alas, it was not possible to finally solve the problem of glitches in the hydraulic valve block of the six-speed automatic transmission. With runs from 45 to 60,000 kilometers, due to the inadequate operation of the automatic block, it starts to sort through the steps hard, with noticeable jerks. If the car ran over the above kilometers and the defect did not reveal itself in any way, then subsequently the box serves properly. Things are worse with the reliability of such a remarkable in theory rapid fire and economical robotic gearbox with two clutches, DSG. Developed jointly by engineers from VW and Borg Warner, it first appeared in 2003, but so far neither the Germans nor the Americans have been able to achieve adequate reliability from it. The stumbling block was the mechatronics actuator, which often has to be changed even during the warranty period. If you still decide to choose a DSG, then keep in mind that six-speed units with oil-immersed clutches can digest more torque, run smoother and are easier to diagnose by characteristic oil smudges on the outside. However, such boxes require regular, once every 60,000 kilometers, transmission fluid replacement. The likelihood of failure of more recent seven-speed DSG with dry clutches is directly proportional to the power and torque of the motor. In addition, you can get to replace the clutch. But the all-wheel drive Passat should not be afraid. The Haldex electromagnetic clutch connecting the rear wheels is quite reliable. Engine. It may sound strange, but mechanics unanimously call diesels the best engines for the Passat, economical, high torque and extremely reliable. But, of course, only if they are fed with proven high quality fuel. Of the gasoline power units, the well-deserved 102 horsepower 1.6 liter engine is considered the most unpretentious and hassle-free. But its more powerful counterpart, the 150 horsepower 2.0 FSI, which served on the car from 2005 to 2008, in addition to being extremely legible in fuel, became famous for its unwillingness to start at temperatures from minus 15 degrees Celsius and below. The Germans fought the cold start problem with a methodical upgrade of the control unit firmware. Finally got the engine to start. You can find out what kind of software is loaded into the brains of your car, as well as install the current program at official dealer stations. If you do not neglect the regular, 
every 30,000 kilometers, flushing of the injection nozzles and the throttle assembly, then even relatively fresh force with direct injection and turbocharging feel good in our open spaces. The Passat has two such engines, 1.4 liters, 122 horsepower, and 1.8 liters, 152 horsepower. The latter, by the way, was installed on cars manufactured in Kaluga. Unfortunately, these engines are not without sin, with high mileage, from 100,000 and above, delicate timing chains tend to stretch. The characteristic symptoms of the disease are an uncertain start, a rumble from the timing side and a check engine indicator that lights up. It is not worth delaying repairs, because a chain that has stretched and jumped over several links threatens the motor with serious damage, and its owner will be plunged into impressive spending. Suspension and steering. Excellent handling, strong point Passat. What is especially pleasant, most of the elements of a remarkably tuned chassis serve faithfully for a long time. Yes, silent blocks of the front levers often failed on the cars of the first years of production during the warranty period, but by 2008 the Germans had cured this disease. To date, only crunch thrust bearings can deliver trouble to owners, but these are, by and large, the little things in life. But the rattling steering rack is a reason for sadness, it is expensive and it is not repaired at company services, changing it as an assembly. However, we must pay tribute, cases of its breakdown are extremely rare. Other suspension parts, including stabilizer struts and tie rod ends, rarely have to be changed before 100,000 kilometers, shock absorbers live even longer. Commendable service life and elements of the brake system. The resource of the front and rear pads is 35,000 and 60,000 kilometers, respectively, while the brake discs have twice as much. Unfortunately, the most advanced Volkswagen developments, DSG boxes and small displacement gasoline turbo engines with direct fuel injection, cannot boast of reliability and threaten the owner with serious expenses in the post-warranty period. Therefore, the purchase of a car with the above units seems to us not the most reasonable. The only car worthy of a reckless recommendation is an extremely successful modification with a 140 horsepower turbo diesel. Such a VW Passat is reliable, fast, economical and also not too ruinous in terms of vehicle tax. And, finally, it is beneficial from an economic point of view, it is 35 to 40% cheaper than new competitors' machines.